Hi guys, so I actually seen a tweet on, on X just actually a few hours ago by Vince V6LK and I thought this was actually worth doing a little video on here and it's really about power banks and QRP radios because not all power banks are created equal. Now, on my left here, I've got this, which is my uh, QRP, Labs, QRP Labs QMX transceiver. Now, I purchased it assembled and I you get a choice of either nine or 12 volt versions. I chose the 12 volt version. Why did I choose that? I don't really know because nine would have actually been fine. Now, th this radio is, it, you can't really go high, much above uh, 12 volts. You certainly can't use it off a 13.8 volt supply. So I needed some way of powering ex externally. Now this is what I actually ended up with, and I'll get to this in a minute. It's a great, it's a great power bank. But I actually already had this one. This was a char mast which I had used for travelling. I looked at the specs. It tells you that it will do um, power delivery. So it will do various voltages, so if I'm looking at it, it's going to do 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 2.2 amps, uh, 12 volts 1.6 amps, uh, and yeah, same again, 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 2 amps, 12 volts 1.5 amps, that's obviously these outputs here. It's got it's got an in and an out, which can also, so it could be either or, an out, and then a, a USB-A out. Um, I've had no complaints with this, but what I thought was I could actually, instead of buying another power bank, this one, although it's quite big, I could just use that with my QMX. Now, what we have here are two uh, USB uh, power delivery cables. Now, on the ends of these, I've just got a couple of right angle um, connectors. That's just for the back of the QMX, but I'll take those off. Now, I bought both of the, one of these was actually a recommendation from Amazon and the other one, not sure which one it was, came from a shop called The Pie Hut here in the UK. Now, what happened was, the story was, I bought, I so I, I didn't have this at the time, so let's put that out of the way. I just had the char mast. Now, I'm just wondering if this, has, this is actually going to replicate for me because it didn't just a short while ago here. I actually plugged in my power uh, delivery cable and it only gave me five volts. So the little electronics in here wasn't doing their job or so I thought. I then bought another cable and then that did work. So I thought it's a fault cable. But I got some money for my birthday and I thought, no, I want a smaller power bank. So I done a bit of research and I bought this Anchor one. It's got this lovely screen on it. Once I turn it on, it tells you the charge state, state of charge, which is really, really good. And once you're charging from it or taking power from it, it tells you how long you've got left at that rate. So when I got this, I used both these uh, power delivery cables and both gave me 12 volts. And that's what we'll actually do first. So always remember, plug the USB cable into the power bank first. So if I plug that in, I'm going to actually get a voltage, which is here. So let's see what we're getting from that. 12.15 volts. There we go. We've only got one US USB-C output on this. So let's put that to the side. Let's take the other one, plug that in. That'll do its negotiation again. There we go, 12.15, so we're getting exactly the same. So, and I've done that time and time again, and this is actually repeatable. No issues uh, with this uh, anchor. Now, when I go to the char mast, and I might have to do this a few times, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do it with a few times, so I'm gonna Stick the multimeter in here again. There we go, we're getting 12.25 from that. We'll try it in the other port. 12.04. Just going to change back again. 12.26. Let's take the other cable. Twelve point two five. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and forward here and see if we can get it to duplicate this error. Aha, there we go, five volts. Now, you've seen how long that actually take, took for that to actually happen? So, 
There we go. So it's not done the uh, negotiation. So, yeah. So, you know, we don't want, I, I don't know what damage this would do to the QMX. Oh, and there we go. It's just all of a sudden changed back to 12 volts. So, yeah, I find that actually quite scary um, that that could actually do this. So, there's our char mast. Do I trust it for power delivery? No way. So, I, I'm just glad that when I first tried it, I actually thought it was the a dodgy cable, but it wasn't. Um, so, you know, guys, I, I don't recommend this, this charm mask at all, so I'm not going to bother putting a link for that down in the description. I will, however, put a link for this uh, anchor down in the description. Now, another issue that you can get with, with these is that they use switch mode power supplies, and they can be a bit RF noisy. This one is, is whisper quiet, so you don't really don't need to worry about uh, the anchor. So we can we can put that in a few times. Yeah, I've got the lead, I've got the lead swapped around, and that's something. If you don't know, you don't know the polarity of your pins. So if you put your positive, your 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 positive on your multimeter, your red to the center, and your black to the shield, do you see how we're getting a positive value? And if we swap it. Put my negative in here and my positive to the shield, you see we get a, a negative. So that's one way of figuring out your polarity. So there we go, we'll swap over again. As I say, I've done this test uh, multiple times um, and, you know, um, th th this is absolutely solid. You've no problems at all with the anchor. Yeah, so once we've done our, as I say, our negotiation, we'll use, because that cable's already undone, we just simply take that, that does a negotiation. I've got these little right angle connectors. Why? Because just to take it easy on the back of the QMX, put it like that. And there we go. That's just got power. Hopefully you could see that. Simple as that, guys. So really just a word of warning. Be very, very careful of what you buy. Um, please do multiple measurements many times with your multimeter before you trust hooking up your uh, power delivery power bank um, to whatever you're, um, whatever you're powering because I really wouldn't want to see you damaging anything. Okay, guys, just a quick one. 73, all the best, and we'll catch you in the next one.